good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Festivus to you, or whatever, uh, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, whatever the hell is the case, uh, whatever time of year you're watching this right now. Anyway, Ultimate Fall here, aka Retro Old School. It's a beautiful, sunny evening here in Montreal. It's about, I don't know, quarter to five or something. I'm here in the La Salle section of Montreal. Winds are getting a little bit lighter. I'm here on Clément Street. Or if you're really Anglophone, you're going to say Clement. God almighty, it feels great to have a beautiful sunny day or as I call a Southern California type of day that means no clouds in the sky or almost and um, yeah I uh, thought about filming a walk here on Lafleur Street I'm walking up to right now but I'm like I just walked from there so there's nothing surprising you know you know me when I the cool thing about filming the, these walks is the element of my uh, impressions of when I see things you know my enthusiasm or or, <laughs> or the opposite and a gas a price a, pr a price of gas i should say is not cheap nowadays whoa what the fuck why am i all zoomed in like this what happened jesus christ okay so yeah i don't know what the fuck happened there i guess i had my finger on the zoom in button there and uh, zoom in too much and whatever it doesn't matter anyway so yeah it's funny because i always seem to forget what the hell the name of the street is this is la fleur street like i was saying and the funny thing is that i think it's called that's why that restaurant is called la fleur over here Maybe that's the oldest La Fleur there is. I don't know. And uh, oddly enough, you got something of the same similar elk right here, which is this La Belle Province restaurant here. Huh? And uh, anyway, I'm going to do a walk on the street some other time. Pretty much industrial. Very old sector of Montreal, La Salle, one of the oldest sectors. And I guess we're going to go into a residential area. Looks like it might be a mixture of old and... Uh, Modern buildings, Athapod, Athapod. Yeah, I am happy. I just filmed a snow removal operation in NDG, not far from here, and uh, I thought maybe I'd get another one here, especially if I get that elusive red uh, SMI snowblower they got here. But uh, I don't know. Like, look at this street here. It doesn't look like there's much snow at all around here. Uh, maybe it's because compared to where I was in NDG, NDG they got these, you know, these streets are smaller. There's a lot of wide open streets around here because it's more of a suburban area, I guess. I guess. I suppose. Anyway, whatever. I'm happy to film a, a, another walking video because I did another one earlier because it's so beautiful. Look at that, eh? That kind of looks like could have been an old fire station even, you know, like the two... The typical quintessential two garage doors, but not likely. Typical old area, very old areas, eh? Part industrial, part residential. But are these buildings very old? Nope. It smells like food. I'm not sure what though. The uh, yeah, the Labat building is down there. Of course, now it's owned by Budweiser. They got Budweiser written on the uh, the old water tower up there. I'll show you that in a second here. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can. See what I mean? So I guess this video goes out to you guys. You people who live here in LaSalle or you lived here. Maybe you live in Ontario now. Maybe you live in Atlantic provinces. Maybe you live out west. Maybe you live in the U.S. of A. Maybe you live in Europe even, or even more, even further away. Hell, I had a friend one time, you know, he was like a friend of a friend's kind of thing. And uh, fuck, he moved to Korea, man. Korea! Teach English over there. You'd have to pay me a shit pile of dough to do something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm too enamored by uh, American culture to do something like that. Hey, come on. Jesus Murphy. Hey, that reminds me, speaking of American culture, you know, I, I sometimes, like, recently I've been feeling the past couple of days kind of depressed, and I'm, like, not feeling the, the Facebook thing. Because Facebook, you know, can really make you uh, emotional in terms of, uh, you know, positive thoughts and negative thoughts. And um, I just saw something, I was like, what the fuck? There's this guy in Europe somewhere. He took a 60 Cadillac, uh, I'm not sure if it was a Fleetwood or a DeVille. Now, it wasn't mint. It wasn't driver condition, but the guy stuck a Beamer motor in there. Yeah, he guessed he stuck a BMW fucking motor in that thing. Hard to believe. And the battery is showing half full, which is not good because it's been 
out in the cold today. It's been much colder than usual today. So, uh, the battery is actually fine. I just have to probably take it out and warm it up with my hand. You know? And, uh, yeah, it's not a, not a terribly interesting street, but still some nice old houses. They have their charm, you know? Too bad the cars aren't, but, you know, whatever. Take what you can get. So yeah, I was happy as you, some of you saw your loyal, loyal uh, fans, you watch most of my videos. Oh man, is that an old pickup I see? Uh, I was happy to finish my Monarch painting the other day and I was like... And I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna... And I'm like, I was gonna... I had in my idea to make uh, a drawing of an MR63 Metro because the MR63 Metros are the oldest ones still in service in the city since the 60s, but they're going out. And... Uh, and then it occurred to me, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't really have almost any markers. I have like no markers to do that drawing because I don't do anything. And in, in, when I do a drawing, a big drawing, it's like totally detailed like my paintings. And I wanted to do that because it's quicker. And I'm like, fuck, I don't even have the money to buy all the markers I need for that. You know? Oh, fucking nice charger. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. In a very plain and weird, ugly old house. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's an old Dodge, typical Dodge Ram. Starting to get a bit scarce these around here. Mm. So anyway, I realized when I finished the painting, I'm like, you know what? Well, speaking of Jeeps, or speaking of Dodge, Chrysler products. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I was like, well, I think I'm gonna do another painting because I looked at my painting, I'm like, fuck, you know what? That painting is awesome. I'm like, I'm gonna do that MR63 as a painting. I mean, it's. It's just, okay, it's still going to take long, but I mean, whatever, I don't care. It's a tribute to to what that is. The, 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 it's a classic Montreal icon, and they deserve, well, I'm talking as if they were humans, they deserve to be recognized in the highest quality possible. That is, in means in detail and even in size of said artwork, you know? So... Um, well, you look at all these houses, you can tell they're really old. I mean, like, look at these, some of these houses, they look like 20s, 30s. Look at this, especially these ones here. Look at the, how close, the, look at the, <laughs> look at that house in the middle. Look how they wedged it in between the two houses. Like, holy shit, they wouldn't do that today, man. You know, a beautiful old church. Shitty Buick. Yeah, La Rue Clement, Clement Street. Hey, wait, what is that? I'm always looking for old steel, but I'm not finding anything. I mean, it's not April yet, you know? Anything interesting? Nope. Nada, nothing, babka, za, zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, if I never mentioned this before, this is where... Oh, la rue. Comi. Or Comté. Can't fucking see it. What does it say? Oh, it is Count. Count Street. Hmm. Yeah, you know, sometimes, seriously, I don't, well, I don't think about this much in the summer because there's so many vehicles out. You know, there's old cars, there's old trucks. Hey, speaking of old trucks, look at this guy. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Look at this, the guy got a parking ticket. Look at the way he's parked. What the fuck is this? That's weird, but that's a nice old Ford, though. You know what? This is, I, I don't think this thing's winter driven. It's fucking clean. It looks like it was restored. Yeah, I already got a parking ticket. He probably took it out of the storage or something, you know? Why did he park it like that? Actually, come to think of it, I think he ran out of gas. Fuck, <laughs> look at the way it's parked. It's all crooked it's on the wrong side of the street. Anyway, uh, yeah, so like I was trying to say, I worry that uh, I'm not going to be able to film really much more anymore because the older the cars are uh, the less you see them uh, because they break and uh, or they get destroyed or whatever in accidents or fires or tornadoes or whatever the fuck and uh, you know that's the way she goes how come i haven't seen another 113 pass here look at this all the old vans that we like what are they replaced by this fucking shit these fucking goddamn ugly sprinters i can't stand them i, I hate them almost as much as scrap no actually i do Right one. Yeah. Uh, beautiful color on that Fusion. Love it. Beautiful color. And now we're at Trudeau. Just like Juste Trudeau, that bungling fucking moron. He thinks he's got all the fucking answers, this guy. God almighty, I wish I never voted for that guy. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, at least compared to, to, to Stephen Harper, he's more of a human, but man, at least Stephen Harper had diplomacy, fuck, you know? You really think that Stephen Harper would have gone to India, fucking dancing around, pretending he's Hindu, fuck, and, uh, uh, you know, hey, la, 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 whatever the fuck, and, and just, it's, it's just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, uh, it's total embarrassing, embarrassment. Anyway, nice old park here, mm-hmm, yeah, just nice little, nice old working class neighborhood as we say looks like they went to try to build some snowman here at the school yeah low cost housing back in the day you know what i wouldn't have mind taking that 113 actually i think i'm gonna stop this here because uh the battery is already low the other one i don't think it has a lot of battery left in it and uh yeah let's see where we are here La Plante. Always reminds me of a guy I knew I went to school with. His name was La Plante. Look at that. You can see the mountain of the city way back there. How cool is that? I want to get a, I guess I want to get a nice shot of that. Let's see here. Yeah, let's do that. Need some grease. Hmm. So that means down there, that's Dollar Street. And then here uh, it would be uh, the 15. Yeah, the uh, the old whiskey trench. Yeah. Oh, we'll finish with that right there. Look, a nice plow there on that pickup. Over there. Should mention there's a lot of Italians live in this sector. A lot of black people, a lot of Italians, French Quebecois, and then everybody else in between. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, take it easy. Sayonara.